Hello everyone, welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to add a text box to our games. To add a text box, first click on UI, and then click on Screen to UI, click on Text Box. We have successfully added a text box to our game. Your text box here is very similar to your text label. With the text box selected, we can go to the Properties window and we can change the background color, for example. Same as the text label to yellow. Maybe I'm going to make it a little bit darker or brighter. Click OK. I can change the position of the text box. I'm going to change the X scale to 0.05 and the Y scale to 0.8. I have repositioned the text box to the bottom here. And now I'm going to go and change the text size. The default is 14. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, so I'm going to make it 20. So those properties are exactly the same as your text labels. I guess the major difference between the text box and a text label is with the text box, you can change this text property right here. So right now you see my text property has text box inside of it, right? That's what displaying right here. But with the text box, I can click inside the text box and I can change this text to anything else I want. Like I can say, hello. And you can see that it has entered hello into my text property here. With the text label, you cannot do that. So that's one major difference between the text box and the text label is that the player can enter a new text into this label or into this box and hit enter. Another difference between the text box and the text label is the text box has a property called placeholder text. So right now it's blank, but I can enter something in here. For example, I enter, enter your message. So now when I go to my text box, if I click on it without having anything inside the text box, the placeholder message is going to be displayed. You can see right here, it says enter your message. If I change this text here to anything else, it will be displayed right here. For example, if I say message here, hit enter. So now when the text box is empty, it says message here. So basically you use the placeholder text to display your message when the box is empty to, to let the player know what to do, what to put into this box. Another interesting property of the text box that I like to point out is the text box has this clear text on focus property here. So the default is true. If I uncheck this box and I enter a message here, say I say hello, right? And I go somewhere else, say I hit enter. And then when I come back, if I click in it, you see it doesn't clear out the text as it did before. So now instead of clearing out the box, it leaves the text that are already there inside the text box, so I can add more text to it. For example, I can say, hello there, and hit enter. And now if you go to the text property, you would see the new message, hello there, in there. On the other hand, with the clear text on focus checked, if I click in here, it's going to clear everything in there. So I would have to enter a brand new message. If I want to say hello there, I would have to retype the whole thing. Hello there. Now your text box, it fires different events as it goes through different states. Probably the most important event that the text box fires is the focus loss event. So now let's go to our text box. We're going to add a local script. Inside our local script, first let's declare the text box. So we're going to say local. We're going to call it part equals to script dot parent and now we're going to listen for the focus loss event so we're going to say part which is our text box dot focus loss colon connect to a function our enter press parameter is automatically passed in inside our function we're going to check enter press to see if the player has pressed enter. So we're going to say if enter press, then let's print out the text that the player has entered 
inside the text box. So we're, we're going to say print. Our text box is part, and the text property is text. So part dot text. We're printing part dot text. That is what the player has entered inside the text box. We're going to add an else statement here. Means that the text box has lost focus, but the player has not pressed enter. So in that case, we're just going to print out text box lost focus. Let's now play and take a look. And I also need to open up my output window. All right, so here you can see our text box here, right? It says hello there. Um, you know what I want to do? Message here. You know what I want to do? I want to go back and fix this. So I'm going to press stop. I'm going to go back to the text box. And for the, so I'm going to check this box here, clear text on focus. I'm going to make sure that that is true. And I'm going to go to the text portion. Instead of message here, I'm going to say enter your message here. Enter your message here. And instead of starting with hello there in there, I'm just going to start with blank. So it's going to show my placeholder text. It's going to say enter your message here. And with the um, with this box, and with clear text on focus checked, whenever I click in the box, it's going to clear everything inside the box. So I'm going to start out fresh with a new message. Let's now play again and take a look. All right, so I'm starting with this message. Enter your message here. I'm going to enter hello and hit enter. And you see it printed hello because I have enter hello inside the text box and hit enter. If I enter another message, you see when I click in it, it clears everything out. Enter another message, hi, hit enter. It says hi, it printed hi. But now if I enter something else like bye, and I don't hit enter. You, you see it doesn't print anything else, but it's still inside the box. So the focus is still on the text box until I remove the focus from the text box. For example, if I click in the sky here, the text box has lost focus, but I did not hit enter. So that's pretty much how the text box works. And again, the focus loss event is probably the most important event in for, for the text box. And there's also another event called the focus event. So let's take a look at the, the focus event. We're going to start with our text box part dot focus colon connect to a function. And inside our function, we're just going to print text box is in focus. Basically, the focus event is fired when the player clicks on inside the text box. Let's play and take a look. All right, so now we have nothing in the output box. If I click in here, you can see text box is now in focus. And I can say hi, hit enter, and it prints hi, hello, enter. It prints hello and last one by but I don't hit enter I click somewhere else it says text box lost focus everyone that's how you use the text box in Roblox thank you all for watching we will see you again soon take care